I like to say hello and welcome you. Good day, that is my name. Come here and sit down. I'm so glad you even really truly came. And let's get start. Huh. Let's. Alright. Alright, let me try that again. Uh, hello, ladies, gentlemen, and comrades against the binary. I'm Sorio99, and welcome. Jeez. Technical issues, yay! Always fun. Fun way to start a stream. So today, we are playing Resident Evil 2. Yes, this is the second game I've played with uh, 2 in the title this past week. Uh, I don't know why. It's like 2's, I guess. I'm thinking of doing something a little bit different. Today, I am going to be playing Resident Evil 2, the remake. I'm going to be playing as much as I can of it. I'm not going to save. I'm not going to pause. And I'm going to do this on standard difficulty because I can't even beat the game normally on hardcore. I, I can't, yeah, I, I, I have no chance. Yeah. I'm gonna do standard mode and let's see how we do. Hey, we got a viewer. I need some sleep. Hi, viewer. Oh, shit. Hi, viewer. What do I do? What am I gonna do? Yeah, we all know where this is going. We all know what Resident Evil is. Oh. I wanted him to plow into the gas pump. You're weird. And blood. And now we're actually at the game. And now we're back into cutscene. There? This game's kind of front-loaded with cutscenes. Well, not front-loaded. There are a lot later on too. It's something's not right. Yeah. Oh, twenty. I'll be back for you. I will not be back for him. Especially because that door is locked now. Hey. What are you doing? And here we have. Moving. Officer, you need help? Stay back, sir. I got this. Yeah. Warning this stream will contain images of, uh. graphic violence as depicted by a video game. There we go. Hey, key. That's useful. Uh, yes, I have a key. Thank you. I saw that. No way. This can't be. Oh yeah, zombies don't stay dead. I'm gonna save the rest of my bullets. 
Xbox. I have played this game before, obviously. Uh... Still not great at it, admittedly. Hi, girl. Don't shoot. Get down. Buddy, she said to not shoot. Pretty sure you broke that rule. You all right? Yeah, I think so. Thanks. You can thank me later when we're safe. Yeah. That's a lot of zombies. <laughs> Now the game's not deafening me, and it hopefully isn't deafening you. Whoever you are. What the hell is going on? I don't know. Hopefully they'll have some answers at the police station. Yeah, sure. Wait, you're a cop? I... Yeah. I yeah. feel like that's a bit of a leap. Claire. Claire Redfield. Hey, Redfield. I know that name. Live around here? No. I'm looking for my brother. He's a cop, too. Does he punch boulders? Oh. It's a good thing we found each other. Yeah, I'm not original. Due to the citywide outbreak, you were advised to take shelter at the Raccoon City Police Station. Yeah, somehow I don't feel like that's the safest option. But there's no survivors. No, there's survivors. It's a big city. There has to be. Fun fact, there are. There are a lot of them. You're just never going to meet most of them. Oh, come on. You still have bullets. Oh, please. Hello, lights. Hey! That trucker was relevant after all. Get out. Get out now! Jesus Christ, what was that car made out of? That... That makes more sense. Yeah! I'm alright! How about you? Well, I was just point blank in an explosion, so I'm not doing great! You can't stay here, it's not safe! Go on ahead! I'll meet you at the station! I'll be there! Yeah, you can just avoid these zombies. Oh, shit. Yeah. It's everybody. They've all turned. Really? What was your first clue, Leon? Was it the massive hordes? There it is. The station. The one safe haven. Because the police can definitely be trusted to handle this situation correctly, right? <laughs> Zombies can't climb because, like, it feels like, well, maybe not over there. Like up there, maybe. I mean, sure they'd get stabbed, but like, they're zombies; they can survive. So, fun fact: I uh, bought DLC for this game. And one thing I find annoying is there's no option to turn off this stuff. Like, there's no option to, like, get rid of it. I mean... I think... Yeah, you can't even discard it, so it's like... Eh... It's, it's just kind of annoying. Not good. What, what, what was your first clue, Leon? I found a way out! It's in here! Oh! We found a door in a little black book? Oh, is that pristine up to, like, dimensional portals? Making use of the map. And so we're going over here. To go over here. So do we have to go through here? Which means we have to do here. Do here. Sometimes I say things, and they don't 
make much sense. We have to do... I don't know what this would be called. Slow time event? Uh, uh, Ooh, bathroom. Uh, the men's is closed, though. And I'm pretty sure Leon isn't a girl. I mean, I could be wrong, but... All right. Jesus. That's a lot of dead bodies. Hurry! And some of them look white. Open up! Open this door! Well, I'm assuming it wasn't the I'll police. Get you out. I got you. Give me your other hand. I'm sure I can still save you. So, quick question, how were the zombies able to do that that fast? Because, like, it's implied that when he got under the gate, he was, like, a full-ass human being. With an ass. Hello, officer! Oh. That's a crime. You can't do that. Well, this is what we do to criminals. That's right, we shoot them in the back of the head while they're lying on the ground. I could, I could. Eh, no big loss. It's just a pig. Yeah. All right, you two are pigs as well. <clears throat> but honestly, all you need to know is that this place will eat you alive if you aren't careful. Literally? I was supposed to start last week, and I got a call to stay away. I wish I'd come here sooner. Yeah. You're here now, Leon. That's all that matters. Is it? Is it though? Okay, Lieutenant, I'm ready. Hopefully we'll be able to find a way out of this station. That officer you met earlier, Ellie. He thought this secret passageway might do the trick. Hey, uh, question. Why didn't you go out the front door? This is good news. I mean, sure, there were a lot of zombies. No, no, I am not but... the priority here. Lieutenant, I'm not just going to leave you here. I'm giving you an order, rookie. You save yourself first. I'd come with you, but I just know you. I feel like these police policies aren't exactly the best. Can't stop it. Uniform or not. You do not hesitate. Oh, don't worry. The uniform will just make me shoot faster. Run. Got it? Yes, sir. I am doing a run of Resident Evil 2. And this this is a save station. It's a typewriter, but it's first day. Unfortunately, I've used up all my save points, so I can't use that anymore. So I am going to go through this as much of this game as possible without saving and without pausing. This is a terrible idea. This is not how I imagined my first day. Oh yeah, and uh, by the way, there's going to be a lot of gore. Like, very visceral, disturbing gore. It's Halloween time. Spoopy season. Yeah. Yep. And that's a problem for later. I have played through this game quite a few times now. Chains. Leaf.
Yeah, that makes sense. I must say, as a fat person myself, we are remarkably immune to bullets. So here's a fun thing this game does. Zombies on the ground. Aren't always dead. Ooh, gunpowder. Uses of gunpowder. Making ammunition. It's about what I figured. <laughs> Any recommendations for what the code might be? September 28th, 2.30 a.m. It's down to just me and three others. No weapons, no ammo, and too many skirmishes have drained us mentally and physically. We're not going to make it. Officer Phillips once suggested we escape through the sewers. Apparently, there's a secret tunnel under this place left over from its museum days. I brushed our idea off before, but now it's not sounding all that bad. Yeah, there's no proof there's even a tunnel or that the sewers aren't infested with zombies, but I don't want to sit here and wait to die either. It's a long shot, but I'm going to try to find out what I can about that tunnel. Elliot Edward. Your mission is to unlock your desk. And, yeah! Ooh, high capacity magazine. Oh, for... Look off. Now see, this effect is from what we call in the business, the fuck off bullet. It appears that the keypad to the locker's terminal is missing a few keys. I suggest the person responsible for this mess find some spare keys and fix this right now. You know who you are, bastard. Who else would fuck it up this badly? Well, that's one way to speak to your coworkers. See, I... I don't see why we can't just push them in with our fingers. Like, well, all right, whatever. Hmm. Need a key card to get shotgun, baby. Get shotgun metal from there. My hip pouch. Be useful. Ooh, what's this? Wooden board. Board up windows, huh? And... No, you don't. Fuck off. Humans have used herbs to treat sickness and disease since the dawn of time. In this book, we will examine three such herbs native to the Arclave Mountains. Green herbs have the ability to heal basic injuries, while blue herbs have long been used to treat poisoning. As for red herbs, while they are visually appealing, they offer no medicinal benefits, or so it was thought until recently. It's well known that combining herbs together produces blends that heightens the herbs' effects, but it has been discovered that red herbs can play a big role when mixed properly. According to one doctor of Asian medicine, mixing blue and red herbs together produces a blend that will strengthen one's constitution. Truly, we have only just begun to realize the full potential of these herbs and their ability to heal the human body. Further research is sure to yield even more fascinating results. So, green heal, blue poison, red, boost the others. Ah, a statue. I'm sure that will have no importance whatsoever in the near future. Hmm. You look alive. Not for much longer. You bastard. Oh, god damn it, you're still alive. Oh, I'll take care of him. Need something in here. Ooh, a lot of lockers. Portable safe instructions. Press a button to light up its corresponding lamp. 
like the mall to open the safe. Buttons must be pressed in a certain order. Pressing a single button out of order will cause all the lights to go out, and you will need to start the sequence over again. Welcome to the single most obnoxious puzzle in the game. So you press a button, it lights up a lamp. Press another button, it lights up a different lamp. So buttons are all randomly assigned. There is no guide you can find because they're random each playthrough. Uh. There we go. It's not hard, it's just frustrating, because you have to memorize eight positions. Uh, lock a a K. Yeah. And of course. Ah, uh, well done, Ragdoll. Ooh. something else and a key first key spade key We got to first base. Second floor. East first side. base is riding in a car, right? Guide pamphlet. Welcome to Raccoon City. Did you know? Well, we are the home of pharmaceutical giant Umbrella Corporation. Raccoon City is a vibrant, dynamic city with long, rich history of its own. And this guide will introduce you to just a few of the more unusual points of interest our city has to offer. Raccoon City Police Station. A building in the center of town wasn't always a police station. In fact, it used to be an art museum. Various features, like the unusual clock tower and the goddess statue in the main hall, remind us of a bygone era. Orphanage. Just a few blocks from the police station is an orphanage. Blah. Just a few blocks from the police station is an orphanage, founded and run by the Umbrella Corporation with the help of generous donations from businesses and citizens alike. The building is known for a stained glass window, which attracts visitors from around the world. It is not, however, known for its good treatment of the children. In fact, it's kind of known for the opposite of that. Uh, I'll leave right now. Oh, hey! Well, would you look at that? That's fun. Oop. We know what fire means in this game. Claire. It's so nice to see you. How are you doing? The helicopter just came out yeah. of nowhere. Are you in bleach? Look, I'm sure we're gonna find him. Woo! Told you, fire means explosion. Okay, let's get through this, both of us. Well, I mean, hopefully we would. Like, I, I, I'm not particularly fond uh, of dying. Marvin, we've got a situation here. I'm surrounded by zombies. Marvin, do you copy? Marvin. Yep, Marvin's dead. Damn it. Fuck off. Damn it. I can't grab anything. My pockets are too full. Oh, 
Look, I'm not good at speaking. That's why I'm a Twitch streamer. And one thing I didn't realize when first playing was you can just put the medallion straight in there. Don't need all three. An electronic gadget. How is this? Ooh, a detonator for C4 explosive. Missing a battery. That's worrying. Flash. Safety lock. And back here. Right. Well, let's just avoid those for now. Fishes? Scorpion? Face award. Fishes. Scorpion. And. Yeah. Face award. Nice! Unicorn medallion. Hmm. I'll come back to you in a bit. Turn off that. Not a lot of threatening enemies here, but... What in God's name? Well, this door looks unlocked. I'm just going to go in here for now. Obviously, we could go in there, but, uh, it's locked. And we can't authenticate. Sir dongle key to this port, which we can't do right now, because we don't have a USB key. And that monster, judging by sounds, should be around up here. There we go. Ah, yeah, damn it. I was trying to be quiet. There we go. Grab this battery over here. Thank you. Yeah, we gotta come back later anyways with the USB key or whatever.
can be killed. It's difficult. Oh. Damn it. There. Yeah. Ate both my flash grenades. Are you happy? I'll fucking die. Goes underground. Huh. That's it. That's our way out. Lieutenant Brenna! Marvin! It's time to go. Leon, I think that made us. <sighs> yeah. Get you to a hospital right now. No, no, I. Uh, save yourself. Leon, read the fucking room. No! Look, we can still make it out of here together. Just gonna... It's too late. Leon, why did it take having a gun pulled on you to recognize Leon, that? But I couldn't stop it. We can't let this thing spread. It's on you now. Just go. I understand. Yeah, I'd hope you understand by now. Jeez. <laughs> Question for anyone viewing this as a VOD or highlights. I won't let you down, Marvin. Does Leon count as a himbo? Mm -hmm. 